Welcome to video number two of Tableau Do It Yourself series. In this second video, we're going to talk about creating sets and groups and calculations. Use the data connection from the video number one of the series and I am going to save this workbook as Tableau BDCS DIY Tableau Bharti W Consultancy DIY do it yourself the first sheet which was shown in video number one rename it as DIY And you can rename your hands-on exercises as DIY hands-on. So DIY with two. In this video number two, we are going to talk about sets. Set is creating a particular values, set of values based on a column. For example, customer location and sales cost now I'm going to create a set of customer locations let's see how right click the customer location say create and set I repeat right click customer location create and set so we have opened the tableau tableau bdcs diy we are going to use the data connection from the video number one and then we go to sheet number two right click on customer location from the left side to create a set so here we are we're going to say customer set one in this set we can create sets based based on multiple things first is general you select some values and your set would be created based on some conditions so for example if the sales cost is greater than a particular value or top so top n top 5 top 6 we're going to talk about this in the next video so coming back in the general tab i'm going to add or create a set from bristol new york and mumbai let's say london new york and mumbai all top cities from US, UK and India. So I'm going to say customer location or location set top cities or big cities. You can see for sets at the very end you would see the set available drag and drop the set on the filters and so when you drag and drop on the filters you are able to see it says in out and null in means those cities which are part of the set out means those cities which are not part of the set so there you go you have London Mumbai and New York as as the three cities in the sets in this set if I want to find out 
the cities which are not part of the set I'm gonna choose out and you could see that these are the cities which are not part of the set if I right click on the filter and say show filter there would be an option on the right in order for me to choose so this is all if I want to find out in and out there you go so we added customer location which was already added earlier and we also added sales cost and then we we added this set to the filter shelf and we said edit filter to select only in values good time to pause the video because your hands-on exercises are coming up so hands-on exercise number three is you have to create a new sheet and then you have to create a set on customer names and you have to add sales amount sales type as color marks and then you have to add the customer set in the filter pause the video here and do your set hands-on exercise 3 going forward to exercise 4 do it yourself 4 we are gonna do this together or I you can pause the video here do this example and then you can compare what you have created based on what I'm going to show you now so let's do DYI 4 we'll add a new sheet and we'll create two sets for customer names let's do this customer names and understand the data first so I'm gonna add customer name in the columns and I'm gonna add sales amount in the rows you can see that the range of values are starting from 0k till 12k so I'm gonna change my set values here so I'm gonna say greater than 10,000 and greater than or less than 4,000 5,000 so I'm gonna create two sets now on customer names the first one would be sales amount based on sales amount right click customer name create set and you can say customers less than 5k go to conditions select by field and sum of sales amount is less than 5k this this is a set for customer names or customers less than 5k you can see the set created here I'm gonna create another set customer name create set customers greater than 10k so again going to the conditions sales amount and sum greater than 10,000 and click on OK so now we have two sets of customers 
so if I drag this set here you can see that only customers greater than 10,000 are shown here and if I'm gonna add 5k only customers less than 5k are shown now I'm going to create a calculation wherein I'm going to calculate the type of customer so coming back to this I'm going to create a customer set size if the customer sales amount is less than 5000 I'm gonna say small if the customer sales amount is greater than 10,000 I'm going to say medium and if it's more than 10,000 I'm gonna say large let's see how I create this calculation go back in here right click sales amount in the measures dimension and say create calculated field in here mention the name customer set size and write down this if statement if customer less than 5k In the future exercises we are going to talk about the calculations and calculated fields so we created this customer set size and it says the calculation is valid you can see that calculation which we created now here as customer set size so I'm going to drag the customer set size in the color section and you could see that the customers with large set size are in blue with medium are in, in orange and for small it's in green. I hope this, this is clear and next we are going to talk about groups for groups it's it's very simple I'm going to save this now in order to create groups for example channel type I'm going to create a group on channel type right click channel type and say create group I repeat right click channel type create group and then you can say group all direct and online I repeat again right click channel type say create group a set and group are different how we will see a group so create click on group and then drag channel type and you can say direct and online is a group how is it different from set you can see that a group is in pin shape icon and I can drag and drop here 
and you can see that direct and online are together so grouping is like creating some kind of a sub hierarchy level in a particular dimension while a set is at the same level and we drag everything or we drag set of customers or group of customers together and pull it outside i repeat a group is a kind of summation you can see direct and online here direct and online here that means these all are grouped together and kind of an hierarchy is created while post stands separately but in case of set it's the the values or the the members of a particular dimension are pulled in in a different container and that container can be reused so keep watching this series i hope this was informative thank you